multi-cam recording and editing has been super confusing for me, particularly when you try to add in automatic pause removal, which is the key to keeping me from going insane when I try to edit video. It took me the better part of a day to figure out how to do this right. So I was thinking I could save you some time by pointing out where the tricks are. So here's my setup. I'm recording in OBS. I have my scenes along the right here. This video is not about how to set up scenes because there's tons of content out there already on how to do that. But I do tutorials, so I am recording my screen. I have a small video embedded on the screen and my microphone. So my second camera is actually not in OBS at all. This is because um, when you add it as a camera, it likes you to use the scene switcher to switch between your camera one, camera two. I don't multitask well, so I don't like to switch scenes while I'm recording. I like to have the camera switcher be something that I do in the editing process. So let me show you my second camera. It's my phone on a little tripod. I should probably turn this light on. So when I record, I push the start button in OBS. I push the start button on my phone, and then I combine the two later. So I'm going to minimize the OBS now, and we'll talk about the actual editing process. So I use Gling. I go completely insane if I have to manually remove hundreds of pauses from an hour long video. Gling will also let you edit in the transcript view with your words. So you can cut chunks out based on the transcript that it automatically generates from the video. So it kind of creates your subtitles too along with it. So Gling is a free tool for up to an hour a month of video. And after that, the subscription fee is reasonably low. I'm going to put an affiliate link to Gling in the video description. I figured if I was going to be talking about it anyways, that I should use one. But really, I've been using Gling for six months now, and it's been a game changer for me. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just like it. So we're going to import our videos. The one that I want to be first is the one of my screen, because that's the one that OBS produced that has my good microphone. So you want to choose whichever video has the audio that you want to use for your editing as the first video. You can rearrange them later, so it'll let you drag and drop. Then I'm going to add the one of my face. So that's the second angle. And you'll notice that it put it after the first video. What you can do is add a multicam track here and then drag your second angle down and then click on continue. And choose what you want to do. I just leave it on the default, so cut silences and cut bad takes. You have to go in and adjust what it does a little bit because it doesn't always know which one the bad take is. So this is a super short video that I'm using for this demo, and I added a piece that I wanted to cut out. So you'll see it automatically cut pauses here, which is good. And I'm going to cut out just this line right here with the cut button. If you need to uncut something, you do the same thing. So you just select it and uncut. There's a duration for the pauses down here. That's this pace button. So I usually turn it down a little bit because I like to keep things moving at a steady clip and apply. Make name for your project. There's an AI button here, but honestly, I don't want AI to generate my project name. So we'll skip that. You can just click and drag where the cuts are to arrange it. You can add extra cuts with this split button here. And there's also a search in the transcript, which is kind of cool. So if you are using specific words to tell yourself to remove things later or uh, anything like that, you can search on that in the transcript and jump to it. So we're going to export this now. I'm going to use the export button in the top right, and I'm going to export it as a Resolve Multicam. And then we're going to jump over to DaVinci Resolve. So in DaVinci, we go to File, and then Import, and then choose Timeline. And then we choose the file that we just exported. So that's this one here. And then click OK. So we're going to move over to the Edit tab. They're along the bottom here. Um, it always defaults you to the Cut UI, and I don't really use the Cut UI for anything. And you'll notice you only see one of our video clips here, so that's normal. So I'm going to go to clip zero here. That is our multi-cam object. So I'm going to rename it to something that makes more sense. And right click on it and say open in timeline. So now you can see both clips. It looks like mine automatically synced them, which is interesting because I didn't notice it doing that last time. But if it's not, just select all of your clips and then right click and choose auto align clips and then do it based on the waveform. So that's the audio and then choose which track. So that's track one we want it to be based on because that's our good audio. 
And then what we want to do is remove the second audio because we don't need two versions of the same audio with two different microphones, right? To do that, we need to unlink these first. So right click on the outer audio two and click on link clips, then click off of that because both of those are still selected and then click back onto your audio. So just the red around the audio and cut it. So I use control X to cut. Don't use delete because delete deletes the video too. All right, so now back to our timeline. So we're on the multi-cam view right now. We wanna switch back to the timeline view. So that was this one up here, this one that looks like a little kind of a layout. So double click on that. So this will be where all of your cuts show up that we did in Gling. And what you can do now is choose which parts you want to use your second camera. So you can insert more cuts. So I have this key bound to one on my keyboard, but the default is probably something different. Let's zoom in a little bit. So say right here, we want to cut to the second camera. We just add two cuts for the duration that we want and then right click on it and then choose switch multi-cam clip angle. I can switch to angle two to jump to my face and you can see that the audio is staying the same, but it's cut to my face. When I do a zoom in or zoom out while I'm talking, I can make another cut. If I select the clip and then go to this video tab up here, there's a setting for zoom. So if I move into the middle of it here, I can zoom in for a part of the clip. And then if I wanted to zoom this one out, I can just click and drag that out. There's also a dynamic zoom option here. I don't really like the dynamic zoom. You can do these in the fusion editor too. It just is very time consuming. So I kind of like the quick cuts with just the zoom. There's text options in here too. If you want to like roll over text or anything like that, you just drag and drop these onto the timeline. That's not what this video is about though. I just wanted to mention it. And the other thing I do in here is if you select all your audio, so do control A and then right click and choose normalize audio levels. That helps adjust for your face being different distances from your microphone being louder and quieter. So then when this plays, it's going to automatically swap over to that camera. Here's the zoomed out version. You get the idea. So that's how I do multicam with DaVinci Resolve, Gling, and OBS. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.